You might think that the X470 is a bit outdated for the new Ryzen processors, but this is not always the case. Let's say you have a new Ryzen 5000 series processor. Well, the safest option for you to go with is either X570 or B550. Then again, you might not need the PCI Gen 4 lanes since X470 does support Zen 3. It is also a good option. However, it's important to not run into any BIOS issues either. While most manufacturers have updated their products to work with Ryzen 5000 series out of the box, that's not always the case. For people with a processor like Ryzen 2000 or Ryzen 3000, X470 is an excellent choice as well. This is because not only will the X470 platform provide you with a lot of stability right away, but you also get excellent future proofing if you ever upgrade to a Ryzen 5000 series processor. So after taking all of that into consideration, we scored all of our selected motherboards based on four parameters, VRMs, design, connectivity, and value. After that, it's as simple as ranking them based on their overall score. If you want to go deeper, you can also check a detailed buyer guide for the top X470 motherboards on our website, bestmotherboardzone.com. With all that said, let's take a look at the roundup. Price information and all motherboards mentioned in the video are available in the description. Number 5. Asus ROG Strix X470 F Gaming Asus ROG Strix series is probably the most popular motherboard line among mainstream gamers. This is thanks to the recognizable design, high-end features, and all-around great components and controllers. While the X470F lacks in some departments, it's a great choice for the mainstream audience. This thought process is reflected beautifully in the design. Again, the Strix motherboard features a black PCB with silver stenciling. All of the heatsinks from the M2 slot to the VRM heatsink are painted black. This provides the sleek and stealthy look that modern Strix products are known for. RGB zones are also present on a large rear panel cover and chipset heatsink. These are controllable thanks to AuraSync via the Asus Armory Crate software. Apart from that, the X470F maximizes connectivity. It includes support for two M2 and VME slots, front panel USB 3.1 Gen 2, and Gigabit LAN. You also get access to software features such as overclocking, auto-tuning, and Fan Expert 4. Furthermore, you get two RGB headers and one addressable RGB header for compatibility with AuraSync. This allows you to sync up every RGB device in your rig. Furthermore, you get the Supreme FX Audio codec, which provides great audio while gaming. It can also easily support high-frequency memory. This is something that previous Ryzen motherboards and processors struggled with, so it's good to see that issue is resolved. The 10 Plus 2 phase VRM design is competent, but overclocking leaves something to be desired. All in all, this is a solid X470 motherboard. It lacks Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and definitely is not targeted towards overclockers or software enthusiasts. However, for those who are looking for a premium design and great features, there's a reason this motherboard is so popular on Amazon. To sum it up, we like this board because the Aura Sync is always great to have. The Asus Supreme FX Audio Codec. It supports high-frequency memory with ease and the great design and RGB implementation. On the downside, there is no Wi-Fi support, and CPU overclocking can be improved. Our rating for VRM design is 8 out of 10. Aesthetics, 8 out of 10. Connectivity, 8 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. Overall rating, 8 out of 10. Number 4. Asus ROG Strix X470i Gaming Asus Strix i series of motherboards always impresses us in the world of ITX options. Few manufacturers come close in terms of design, and it's easy to see why. The ROG Strix X470i is quite the looker. The black PCB paired with the all-black heatsinks gives this a unique design. One of the M2 slots has an interesting-looking metal heatsink with a lot of graffiti-style text over it. This heatsink is combined with the chipset heatsink for the sake of a uniform-looking design. The RGB lighting is also clearly visible through the ROG i logo on this heatsink. The right side of the motherboard even features edge-lit RGB lighting. All of this is controllable via the Armory Crate software. You can sync all your RGB devices via AuraSync, and it works tremendously well. Armory Crate gives us a lot of options to play around with. Furthermore, the connectivity options here are also quite decent. You get access to dual M2 slots, a great addition for an ITX board. You even get 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, USB 3.1 Gen 2, and Gigabit LAN. Asus is also using their excellent Supreme FX Audio codec, which is another great addition to this board. They're using Japanese capacitors here, and the quality is reflected with the audio output. Overall, this is quite a decent IDX motherboard. The sixth phase VRM design isn't exactly built for crazy overclocks, so do keep that in mind. However, if you're looking for the best X470 ITX motherboard, then this is the one to buy. Of course, if you can afford the price here. To sum up what we like here is the Aura Sync and Armory Crate is a great combo. The high-end audio codec, the good amount of features for an ITX board, the decent VRM design, and the dual M2 slots. 
On the downside, it's quite expensive and not the best for overclocking. Our rating for VRM design is 8 out of 10. Aesthetics, 9 out of 10. Connectivity, 8 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.25 out of 10. Number 3. Gigabyte X470 Aorus Ultra Gaming For the third spot on our list, we're changing things up from the usual high-end motherboards. Just because X470 is a performance-focused platform, that does not mean we need to limit ourselves to premium motherboards. The X470 Aorus Ultra manages to be a great X470 motherboard for the masses while having a decent price. As usual, let us begin by giving an overview of the design. While the X470 Aorus Ultra lacks the excellent RGB lighting seen on the Gaming 7 Wi-Fi, it still manages to look just as good. You still get interesting illumination here, with an orange color scheme, of course. You do get the same dual M2 slot support, and one of them even includes a heatsink. This is always a nice touch from motherboard manufacturers. Fortunately, this budget X470 motherboard is quite well equipped. It features six SATA ports, USB 2.0 and 3.0 headers, an impressive number of fan headers, eight to be exact. The fan control features in both the EFI and Windows software work wonderfully. This allows you to set up a customizable fan curve for better overclocking support. You even get a USB 3.1 Gen 2 USB-C header, if your PC case supports that. It also uses the Realtek ALC1220 codec, which is quite decent for a budget motherboard. As for the rear I.O., you get 9 USB Type-A ports, a healthy balance of USB 3.1 Gen 2, USB 3, and 2.0 ports. The only thing lacking on the rear panel is a clear CMOS and BIOS flashback button. It's also quite decent when it comes to memory support, as it will support higher frequency memory kits without any issues. Last but not least, cooling and overclocking performance on this board are both excellent. While it can compete with some premium boards, it will satisfy many gamers who might want to mess around with overclocking. If you don't care about crazy overclocks but want a motherboard with great features at a decent price, this is the one to get. To sum it up, we like the extremely competitive pricing. It punches above its weight for the price, the robust VRM design, the extensive memory support, and the decent audio output. On the downside, it lacks Wi-Fi support. Our rating for VRM design is 8 out of 10. Aesthetics is 9 out of 10. Connectivity, 8 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.25 out of 10. Number 2. Asus ROG Crosshair 7 Hero For our second spot on this list, we usually like to include a high-end premium motherboard. For a motherboard to justify that designation, it has to have excellent VRMs, attractive design, and an abundance of features for both gamers and hardware enthusiasts. Asus Crosshair lineup is perfect for that, and that's why the Crosshair 7 is on this list. At the MSRP cost of entry, which is quite high, the Crosshair 7 has a lot to live up to. Fortunately, it eases the mind with the excellent design straight from the get-go. Unlike later Crosshair motherboards, this one isn't as sleek, but still manages to be one of the better-looking X470 motherboards on this list. It uses a black PCB with silver stenciling, and that complements gray heatsinks quite well. The rear panel cover has a matte black finish, which provides the sleek look we're looking for. Both the rear panel cover and chipset heatsinks have illuminated logos and branding, which are limited to a single red color. RGB would have been better, but this was released at a time when people were showing off their Team Red support with pride. The port selection is also rather extensive, and something you would see on much higher end motherboards. You get three USB 3.0 ports two USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, and two USB 2.0 ports. One of the Gen 2 ports is Type-C, which is always a welcome addition. The connectivity options are also quite good, as you get access to an RJ45 gigabit Ethernet port and two Wi-Fi antenna connectors. It uses the Wi-Fi Go module for the wireless connection. Other than that, you get access to an excellent audio codec, extensive memory compatibility, and BIOS flashback plus clear CMOS buttons. This motherboard includes a lot of features for overclocking. These can be found in the BIOS and within the software suite. The 10 plus 2 phase VRM design works well and is perfectly capable of overclocking processors like the Ryzen 9 3900X or 5900X. Not bad for an X470 motherboard. To sum it up, what we like here is the superb experience for overclocking, the extensive memory compatibility, tons of connectivity options, the impressive fit and finish, and the highly compatible 10 plus 2 phase power design. On the downside, it's still quite expensive. Our rating for VRM design is 9 out of 10. Aesthetics is 9 out of 10. Connectivity, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.75 out of 10. Number 1. ASRock X470 Master SLI AC 
Slotting in our top and also earning the Editor's Choice Award, we have the AS Rock X470 Aorus Master SLI AC. This motherboard is our first choice because it's arguably the best all-rounder X470 motherboard. It nails almost everything, including VRM design, aesthetics, connectivity, expansion slots, and of course, overall value. This one should be a no-brainer for most people. As we usually do in these roundups, let's start off with the design first. The philosophy behind the design is clean and simple, without looking generic or boring. It uses a mostly black PCB, but that's contrasted with a lot of silver stenciling on the board. The rear panel cover is black and has a rough grainy finish to it, which provides an interesting texture to the board. As for the VRM and chipset heatsinks, they are silver and incorporate an aggressive design length. Speaking of which, the chipset heatsink is also an RGB zone. This heatsink has RGB LEDs all around it, and that provides it with some extra flair. The RGB is customizable via software. This motherboard even supports 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, a feature that was missing in a lot of X370 motherboards. Perhaps the most interesting feature on here is SLI. AS Rock even included that feature in the name itself. While a lot of games don't have that great support for SLI these days, it is a feature PC enthusiasts still like to test out. It also helps in content creation for some niche workloads. To cater to that feature, you'll need an SLI bridge. Overall, this is quite a decent all-around motherboard. Memory overclocking is quite decent, as Ryzen benefits from faster RAM. The 10 Plus 2 phase VRM design also holds up, although CPU overclocking support could be a bit better. Apart from that, this is a very solid motherboard and highly recommended to our readers. To sum it up, what we like in this board is the simple yet sophisticated design, the dual M2 ports for storage, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support, the superb connectivity options, and the excellent memory overclocking. On the downside, CPU overclocking could be better. Our rating for VRM design is 9 out of 10. Aesthetics, 9 out of 10. Connectivity, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 8.5 out of 10 for an overall rating of 8.8 .8 out of 10. Do you think another X470 motherboard is better? Tell us your opinion.